What's going on, family? Man, I hope you guys are having an absolutely awesome day. Got another Cars with Stories for you guys. This is going to be a really, really good one, guys. Um, it's about a 55 Chevy Bel Air called Kryptonite. And it's owned by Terry Cook. I met Terry Cook at the Muscle Cars and Carvet Nationals. Uh, Catfish actually introduced them to me. Um, he has a very, very, very good story. Um, Terry started off. Uh, when I, you know, asked if I can interview him about his car, he's like, man, he usually don't good. He, he gets super nervous. He, it doesn't work out well. Um, I think you'll look at this video and think Terry did a phenomenal job. He was super comfortable. Um, we were, uh, super challenged by, uh, by an extra that was in the shot most of the time. Um, I tried as much as I can to edit it out so it didn't interfere with the flow of the video. When I was editing, I realized it was a lot of content that was being removed. This guy was, he doesn't stop talking. He, he just doesn't stop talking. So it's always challenging, man, when you're trying to, and I'm getting to this habit of doing interviews where I'm interviewing people about with their cars, um, you know, and try not to be rude, but the key is to allow me to get my interview in and everybody don't take the context. Don't, you know, they don't feed on the context clues. So they can't tell when I'm interviewing and I'm actually trying to get the content that maybe they should keep their mouth shut or just back away from the scene. Right. Um, so because of that, uh, if you watch, once you watch the video, make sure you stick around at the end and <laughs> watch all the outtakes, man, from, my guy hanging out with his beer and he just kept running his mouth, man. Uh, let's not digress from why we're here, man. Ultimately, again, it's a car with stories. So, guys, sit back, grab your beer like your boy, <laughs> whatever else you're sipping on, some popcorn or whatever. Um, and enjoy this video, man. It's Cars and Stories about a 55 Chevrolet Bel Air named Kryptonite. Peace. What's going on, family? Listen, man, I got one more I got to show y'all, man. I got this car that is so immaculate. You know, Power Tour. It's got some of the most beautiful color scheme. Interior. Trim. The build is immaculate. Sheesh. And the gentleman that owns it, standing right here, man. Man, what's going on? Love you your car. Thank you. Uh, tell the people your name first. Terry Cook. Terry Cook, man. So tell us about your car real quick. Well, it's a 55 Chevy two-door hot top with a Art Morrison chassis, an all aluminum Brodac, 434, 18-degree heads with a, sorry, TCI six-speed transmission. Oh, my God. Got the shot wheels. Shot, if you ever know anything about shots, I, lo I love the wheels. So this thing scoots a little bit? Yeah, it scoots. <laughs> you got the cold air intake. Got to show you all this cold air intake, guys. Cold air intake. This is here. functional. Air goes in there, comes out right there, into there. Functional. Paddle <laughs> shift. What? Did I notice that? Paddle shift. Oh, that's right. And poly fuel injection, poly. Like touch screen holly. It's has right all here. My, has all my switches on it. Oh, wow, man. So it has a dominator, guys. ECU with the 40 inputs, outputs. That's where I get all the switching from. The, this is so beautiful. Dakota, thank you. Dakota did it for really Dakota Dash, Digital Dash. The Dash is fiberglass, hand form fiberglass. Oh, wow. All's interiors, the interior. The interior is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous man. Yeah. I don't know. I, it was a, it was just an old shell when I got it. All new uh, sheet metal floorboard, even the roof. I like how you did the door handles, man. Yeah. The opening yeah. remind yeah. me of Corvette. Yeah, that's kind of what we went off there. I just kept it simple. Yeah, that is so cool. So just yeah. 
instead of being, you know, the Corvettes are electric, this, yep. is, this just uses the same ratchet and stuff. No, this will read. Oh, my God. No. So all your arrow and everything that's on here, at least your intake, that's all functional stuff, yes, right? Yes, And I've got cutouts. Uh-huh. I mean, so, I'm trying uh, to be good natured. The exhaust goes up over the frame and then into the body. Gotcha. And then I just enclosed all that in. Oh, my God, man. And who did your interior again? Oz. Oz. Kansas. Out of Kansas. Oh, my God. How long have you had it? I built it in 2017. Really? Yes. Oh, my goodness. So, seven years. My, my favorite question is, is it finished? Yes. It is? It's finished. You don't. Oh, yeah. Somebody's award. Yeah, that's an award or something that broke over there. Huh? Ouch. Well, ain't no proof of that one anymore. No. <laughs> I hope you got photos. But, uh, <laughs> great place. So, uh, how many cars do you have right now? Seven. You got seven cars? Which one is your favorite? Uh, the, my 57 I built with my father. Really? Yeah. yeah. Sentimental. Yeah, he yeah. passed away three years ago here at Christmas. And, uh, yeah, it was, he helped me build this one as well. Oh, now that's pretty cool. Sorry to hear about your father, man. But, you know, the cool part about that is, you know, these cars bring a lot of different people together. What I love is that you do have memories. Yeah. He had a car, something you'd never trade. No, every Saturday's with him, you know, we had a blast. That's awesome. I love that, man. I'm, you know, we have this car, the show car. Rose King Cars. Join AB, Show, and Swole every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time at Swole55 underscore on YouTube Live, where we, we discuss post and future car shows, various car topics, a few serious talks, and a ton of shenanigans. That's Bros and Cars every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time at Swole55 on YouTube Live. Show up and don't be average. Most of it is just about that. It's about sharing car stories. Uh, uh, for me, I love knowing that every car has a story. That part right there blows my mind. You know what I mean? Every car has a story. And hearing those stories are the thing that just take me to the next level. Um, I, love, I love doing burnouts. In the there you go. Yeah. Oh, my God. Street Rod Nationals in, in Louisville. I went to a set of tires there. Are you serious? Yeah, was, I think it was 2019. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God, man. Yeah, on the edge top, right? Mine's 10. Oh, there's 12. The wheels are 12. Yeah. 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 Do you have I'm any that you kid. just restored and left it like it was? No. Or? No. 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 Everything I, you touch. I, I bought one car that was restored. That's a Camaro. It's so like Camaro 302DZ with a, uh, Ooh, factory, nice. a factory of a dealer option 2.4s. Oh, my God. And I sold it to my son because I just I couldn't. Oh, my I was, God. I'm not a, I said I'm not a purist. I love this. How much power is this one making? This one's detuned. It's a 434. All in Brodak, but uh, usually they're 758 on fours. This one's like 700. Oh my yeah. god! Jeez. You know, it's, it's not a drag car, it's when just it's a fire burner. You yeah. don't need any more power than yeah. that. Blast. That's good. You, so, you do enjoy this thing a lot. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I do appreciate it. over a thousand miles on it right now. Really? That was one of the best drivers this summer. I had other cars I was playing with. Uh, good lord. Which one do you drive the most? Uh, I got a 55 convertible. It's got 79,000. I drove the heck out of it this year. Oh, my God. I love that, man. You got some cool cars. <laughs> uh, you got some cool cars. God bless me, you know. Yeah. And, and, uh, that's a blessing just, all together. I can bless other people. Same here. Yeah. So that's part of the things that I love to do with my car, better share it in some way with other people. God bless me with that thing. It's good for me to pass it forward and, and, and share that with other people. And this year or next year, should I say, I'm planning car shows that's going to allow my own events. That's going to allow that blessing to carry forward. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, I like to see kids get in it. Yep. You know, and Same here. Sit down in it. And Same they, here. It gets them excited for yeah. the next generation. I get, I got Hot Wheel cars. Hot Wheel, little Hot Wheels on my car that I hand out to kids after they sit in the car. So they take, not only do they have a memory of sitting in and get pictures, yeah. now they walk away with a keepsake. Yeah, that's a great idea. I buy boxes of those things yeah. every time I find them online. Yeah, we, so I can hand them out to kids. Got to get them interested in them. Yeah, man, it was for me, you know, as a kid, I didn't have access to get close to these things. People didn't let me get close to their cars like that. So now, I love the way to open up the door and let the kids sit there. 
that's 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 the love that I get. At least the blessing of parent passing it forward. Hopefully, let you know creating this lasting memory into a kid that's going to be another car guy in the future, bringing out something that I can come and watch. Why not? I enjoy it. My dad got me into it. Yeah, that's what's up, man. And you just have my sons are there. They like it, but they don't like working on it. Yeah. They like driving it. Yeah, they, no, that's not driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to put time just, in to earn the drive, man. My oldest son just drove it this year. I had it out one time, and he drove it this year for the first time. Are you seeing the video? Yeah. 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 You know I've never drove a car. I said, yeah, wrong with that. <laughs> 36 years old. <laughs> say, I'm good with that. I'm actually not a problem for me. <laughs> and none of them work on them. None of them like to work on them. No, they don't. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they got their lives. You know, they're married, kids. And, That's understandable. You know, this dad's so, hobby. It don't have to be their yeah, hobby. Yeah. I don't, for now, I don't have a son. I got a daughter. She likes driving the cars. I take her out and I'll think in any new car I get, nobody else can drive it before she can. So, you know, my, my friends, they say a lot of them. A lot of them. Uh, if she could keep hers from being damaged, she could probably have a lot of real cool cars that she could ride in, yeah. especially uh, once dad's collecting and start growing the way I want to. But she got to make sure she's not tearing them up. I'm, I'm just saying, it's, that's that's a that's a priority here. <laughs> we try to keep them nice as long as possible. Oh my goodness! But man, I gotta say, thank you very much. I know you say you, you don't do this very well. You did great, in my opinion. I don't think anybody on here is gonna say this guy didn't know what he was doing. Thank you. You look comfortable. You look like you just. It, it's all in the conversation. I right appreciate it. Thank you for bringing this out and sharing this with us. A lot of times, people take these things, they hide them. They don't share them with the world. That's the part that I love about these cars and seeing them. When people bring them out and share them with everybody else, that's the treat. I just love the, you know, the looks we get, and that excitement to get to see somebody see. It. It's, it's validating. Yeah, like it I is. did good. I did good. Pat myself on the back. I did good. <laughs> <laughs> I did good. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. you. And uh, God bless you, my friend. God bless you, brother. Absolutely. Man, listen. God first. Sheesh. Man, what's going on? Love you, car. It's got some of the most. Got the chef there and all that. Hey, King Day, you know what I mean? Oh, well. Jeremy, you know, I'm trying to be good natured. Oh, yeah, I need what? You know what I mean? Every car has a story. Can I get to the count? You can get the whole check. There's a set of tires there. You said the whole set of tires. You're on the hedge top, right? Mine's 10. Oh, they're 12s. The whales are 12s. Yeah. yeah. He says, yeah. Manage. Yeah. It's just a power barn. Yeah. You don't need any more power there. Yeah. So the guy just sort of stand when they tell you, get out of the building and get ready. I'm going to share when you start. Oh, so my I'm Lord. I'm busy tomorrow. I'm busy tomorrow. I'm putting on the couch. You know? You know how we do, baby. Y'all know we don't do the norm around here. No, sir. Ooh, look how that sun kissing it. Look how that sun kissing it. Sheesh. Y'all know we don't do the ab normal around here, bro. Ah. Why is that, man? We were designed from greatness. Guys, because we were designed from greatness. Guys, you have the right, the responsibility to never, ever, ever be average. So, guys, don't be average. Yeah.